Hey, and welcome to another episode of Smoky Ribs. Today I'm going to be doing a pulled pork barbecue pizza. I got this idea from a Facebook friend. He's also a subscriber to my Smoky Ribs channel, and his name is Eddie Pierce. And Eddie, I would like to thank you for this idea. I know it's going to be the bomb, man. All right, on this video, I'm actually going to use an excerpt from uh, the last pizza video I did to show you how I'm doing the dough. It's the same dough that I've been using on the last two or three pizza videos. It's an excellent crust, man, for these uh, Kamado Joes. It, it works real well with high temp cooks like this. And uh, so I'm just going to run through that at the beginning. It, like I said, it is an excerpt from a previous video. And uh, I had a few comments when I posted that jalapeno popper pizza video. And uh, as you will notice, all the measurements are in metric grams. And uh, a few people didn't really understand, you know, what to do with that being here in the U.S. where we use ounces and pounds and such as that. And the easy solution is get yourself one of these little digital scales that will read in metric or standard and flip it to metric and boom, you got it. That's all there is to it. That's exactly what I do. And the only reason I post it in grams is because it's an authentic Neapolitan crust recipe and that's the way the recipe is wrote out. So with that said, let's get busy. Okay, I've doubled in size here. It took about two and a half hours to get this to where it's at. It's a little cool in here today. All right, this, just like any other time, is a wet, sticky dough. Make sure you flour your hands good. Use very little flour to work with this thing. No more than necessary. All right, all I'm going to do, I'm not going to overwork this because this dough, man, I'm telling you, if you go to work in it any whatsoever, it will tighten up on you and you just have to let it relax again. So I'm just going to do this in three segments for three doughs, three separate pizza crusts. One, two, three. All right, these ain't got to be perfect. I'm just going to go about right here and about right here. All right, all you want to do from this point Simply take you one of these, form it into a dough ball, just like that. I'm going to place these on some styrofoam plates, cover it with plastic wrap. I'm going to leave them sitting right here on the stove for about an hour, and they will, once again, just about double in size. Just stretch it until you get a good smooth surface on there and just tuck it under and pinch it off just like that. That's all you want. Last 
week's video when I did the pulled pork, I had a comment in my uh, comment section of that video, and the person asked me if I had to restock this this firebox during that cook. It was an eight-hour cook. Just to show you, I haven't cleaned this out since last weekend. I'm getting ready to look at the size of some of this charcoal that was left over. There was actually enough in here that I, I think I could have went another six, eight hours, no problem with what's left in here. Just showing you the efficiency of this Kamado Joe. Unreal. Okay, I'm taking a little bit different approach today with my uh, fire. Normally, I put one of these fire starters right here in the center. I light it, and everything begins to catch. And as the cook goes, the fire will spread out little by little by little, much like a minion method. But today, I'm going to be using three starters and have this started in three different locations going at one time because I'm want, wanting to get this temperature up really fast and really hot. I'm hoping to achieve somewhere around 700 degrees. That will be perfect. 700 degree pizza stone? Yeah. That's what we're shooting for. I don't know if I'll reach it. I've never tried to uh, bring this Kamado up that high yet. I have reached 600 with no problems, but that's using the other method. So we're going to see how this works out. All right, I'm going to go ahead and light these. Let all this catch. I'm going to give it about 10 minutes. I got the bottom vent wide open to where this thing can breathe really good. Go ahead and move some of these around. Let everything catch good. And uh, we'll give it about 10 minutes. And from there, I'm going to put the deflector plate in here. Go ahead and, and set it up for the pizza. We'll be back. All right, we got this started good enough. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, put this deflector plate in here and as you can see what I'm doing this time I have the deflector plate elevated normally it sits down in here right at the edge of the firebox after talking with John Setzler over there at Kamado Joe he recommended me to go ahead and use a deflector plate but put it up high like this to allow all the heat to come on through all right now we're going to simply place the grate right on top of this deflector plate all right, what I'm going to add now is this expander rack. Just like that. I'm going to place this pizza stone right here on top. This is the same configuration I used last time. Only difference being is I, I am going to use a deflector plate. All right, I'm going to close the dome on this. I've got the bottom vent wide open. i got the top vent wide open. We're going to go ahead and let this come up to temp. And like I said, I'm shooting for around 700 degrees. We'll see if we can get there. Okay, it's been just a little over an hour since I wrapped these up. I'm going to go ahead and do the first one here. And show you what we're going to do. We're not going to work this much at all. I'm telling you, this particular flower, man, is so high in gluten that if you work this any, it will tighten up on you and... It's going to be like a rubber band trying to do anything with it. So all I'm going to do is press it out. Place it here in my hands. I'm just going to start going around and around and let it stretch itself out. I'm no pro at this by any means, as you can tell, but uh, it gets the job done. I'm giving it a little stretch as I'm doing this also. All right, I've got this dough around a... 10 inches that's about what this size dough will produce about a 10 inch and if you can tell it's very thin from here we're going to go on to a uh, floured pizza pill don't you just hate it when you think you have the camera on and you don't well that's what just happened what i did is i put a base on this crust here this pizza dough and i'm using frog bone bayou barbecue sauce this is some excellent stuff i'm gonna put a link in the description box and uh if you're interested in any of these frog bone products, you can go straight to their website and purchase it. All right, this is pulled pork pizza. So guess what? That's what goes on next, pulled pork. This is the pulled pork that I made last weekend and made the uh, sandwiches out of where I used a coleslaw that also had the uh, frog bone Spanish moss in it. I tell you what, that is some fantastic products. I have a feeling I'm going to be using this quite a bit. Alright, next ingredients. I'm using provolone cheese. I'm not using mozzarella or pepper jack. 
I love provolone because it has a lot of flavor to it. I tell you what, you're going to have a lot of flavors already bursting with this pulled pork and this uh, frog bone barbecue sauce. And this is really going to complement it well. We're going to put a nice healthy dose of cheese on here. All right, it's a fairly simple pizza outside of the sauce. A few red onions. And I have some bell pepper that I cut real thin. Just going to toss a few of them on there as well. All right, on my half of this pizza, even though I'm making a couple of pizzas, but me and my wife will both start eating on this one right away since it comes out. I'm going to go ahead and put some pickled jalapeno slices just on one half of it. She likes them, but not all the time. Not like I do. Check this out. I was worried about getting up to 700 degrees. I'm a little over 850, really knocking on 900. Wow. All right, I'm going to open this dome up just for a second. I'm going to use this laser thermometer to see what this top pizza stone's at. 711 degrees. All right, I say we're ready for a pizza. Okay. We want to burp this thing for sure because it's got a heck of a fire going in it. Last minute decision. I decided to sprinkle a little bit of that barbecue sauce on the very top. Down with the lid. I'm going to check this in about five minutes at that temperature. It should be ready. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Wow. Perfection. All right, I'm going to take something and get this cornmeal off of here because all it's going to do is sit there and burn. And I'm going to put another pizza together and uh, get it going. Mm -hmm.